I'm Abby Ritchie with your The Driver Consulting Services and I'm here today with Henry Williams, the owner of your The Driver Consulting Services. Hi Henry. Hi Abby, thank you for doing this video with us mm -hmm. and we really appreciate it. So today we're going to discuss some of the issues that I've been dealing with when it comes to getting people enrolled in the program. A lot of times people are wanting to get things done the same day. You know, hi Henry, nice to meet you, I want to take my driving test. It's not going to happen. You have a lot to learn, especially when you come from another country. For instance, my students that are from India, they are used to driving on another side of the road and sitting in another you know, part of the car on the other side. It takes time to train somebody to stop thinking like they're in India and to start driving like here. You can't be on the wrong side of the road during the test. They don't like that. Funny. Don't know why. But it takes the time and we tell them that you have to be patient. And on the average, it takes about four to six hours to train a person to think like you're driving in America, so that you don't turn on your wiper instead of your turn signal, so that you don't push the gas instead of the brake, so that you don't stop at a green light when there's nobody coming. We don't do that here. So tell us, what do prospective clients need to understand about our services? So when they call up, a lot of times they're looking for a discount. Mm -hmm. And we are a company, we're professional, we, we, we train you. We're giving you skills, let me put it this way, we're giving you skills that are gonna take you for the rest of your life. Imagine you're 20 years old and 40, 50 years later, you're still using my techniques about staying in your lane, about looking at where you turn and all of that stuff. It becomes ingrained. So we need time to teach that. And they have to understand that, you know, that takes time. We can't do that all in one day. Some of the other things they have to understand is that we're patient. We're not going to yell at them. We're not going to scold them. Everything that they've ever experienced before is going to change because we are going to show them how to stay on the right side of the road. So if someone is driving in India, how different is it? Well, you know, kind of like I said before, there's a lot of traffic in India. <laughs> Unbelievable. They go every which way. I don't even understand how they don't have accidents like every single minute, but they figured it out. But they have to stop thinking about that when they come here. It's really hard. I get it. And that's why we're so patient. We need them to know that it's okay to make mistakes. Hey, please, Patricia. No, I, I can't. <laughs> I really I, tried on this time. I know you did. So can you give me a few examples of why people fail the test? Sure. One of the big ones, 10 points each time, not making a full stop. Now, we're in a car and we're going along slowly, but if he was approaching a stop sign, he would have to stop the car completely. If not, he would lose 10 points. Now, do it twice, that's a fail. It's an automatic fail. State changed the rules as September of last year. They want to see you stop so that you can examine the road and see what's coming. Another one, speeding. Really? They're gonna know what's 15, what's 20, what's 25, what's 40, whatever. And you have to adhere to that. Because you don't like going 40, it's not a good enough reason to not go 40. You're going to hold up traffic and you're going to fail because they call that a dangerous action, serious violation. Third one, turn signals. When you use your turn signal, you're being asked by the tester to turn at a certain point. Well, if you signal when they tell you to turn up at the light, you're signaling way too far in advance. You could be a thousand feet away from that turn. You don't want to signal that far away. You confuse the people behind you. And last, hard stops. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, that's a pain, isn't it? Yeah. So we teach them to use their toe gently and stop. Each one of those on the test is four points. So we had a guy once lose 40 points, 10 times four, 10 times. And he didn't even go that far. He was actually inching up to see if it was clear. And every time he stopped, he did that. It was a pretty funny video to watch. But seriously, we want you to pass. So we want you to focus on these things and, and you know, work on it. Yeah, when you take it. them on the route to practice, do you mm -hmm. use any techniques to keep them focused? Yes, we do several things. There are things on the ground that we use. Manhole covers, for instance. Arrows that show us where to go. You know, our, our American traffic system, however you want to call it, is really good. They, they, they point you where they want you to go. Yeah. Turning right in an arrow, right turn lane, solid lines, all that. We use all of that stuff. The other thing we get them to do that's really important, and I learned it when I learned how to fly, is to talk to the car. Right indicator off. Making a full stop at a stop sign. Whatever it is, say it. Uh -huh. 
and it will happen. You'll manifest it. When you're quiet, that's when your fear comes out. So I always say, if you guess, you make a mess. But when you measure, you have something to treasure. Would someone get marked down if they were talking during the test? Absolutely not. Okay. The person sitting in that seat next to you, you know what's most important to them? What? Get them back the way you found them in one piece. Okay. That's all they want. They want to get back alive. If it takes you talking in your native tongue, okay. or English, or singing, we don't care, they don't care. Do your best to pass the test. And what if you believe that the tester has marked you incorrectly? That's happened. And the video, if it's something that we can show, we'll show the tester, we'll show the manager, and they'll take care of it. If there's no video, then I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Think about this. You're the person driving, and you're focusing on left turns, right turns, stops, t lane changes, turn signals, stop signs, uh, everything. That tester is sitting there with a pad looking at you, watching everything you do. And they're more likely to be accurate than you are because you won't remember something you've done. They've marked it down on the paper where it happened and what happened. They have no reason to fail you unnecessarily. Goodness gracious, if you're not that good a driver, do they really want to be in the car with you again? <laughs> so if you're doing good and you're passing and you're doing right, you'll get it. But if you're making mistakes, they're gonna mark it. Wow, that was a lot of information. And I'm sure it's gonna be really helpful for our clients. And if you want more information, you can go to our Facebook page at You're the Driver. I'm Abby Ritchie for You're the Driver Consulting Services.